KJ also thought you should give Miss Janet like three dollars to get you a soda on the way here. Try and get her one. Yeah, you want. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. We're gonna wait a second. Oh, I gotta fix this video a little so it's like up higher. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Good morning, kisser. Oh, remember, oh, kisser, look at you. Remember to like and share. Look how fast you are. You are awesome. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Michelle. Now, at, you might hear some babies. Hi, Trina. Hi, Patty. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Jules B. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Sinker Pots. Hi, Kisser. Oh, do you want to come up? Okay, one minute. Lemon wants to say hi. Come on, jump up here. Jump up here. Cool. So, hi. Oh, look, Lemon. Look. Hey, hi, Gloria. Oh, <laughs> There's Gloria. Say hi, everybody. Hi, Kay. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Gina. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sherry. Well, it is a busy day at the Greg slash Bernard house. Oh, Lemon, are you going to lay on my, oh my gosh, she's laying on my lap. So good morning, my friends. Um, it is feeding time at the, at the baby's house. We're at the baby's house and um, Colin and Kirsten are so sweet. They're taking breaks from work so I can do my video, which is really sweet. See, Michelle said, love to hear the baby. See, you guys, you're so worried that you guys are going to be concerned about the babies no they're fine and you guys are okay hearing them i know you are because i would be too <laughs> so okay thank you excuse me lemon okay so lemon there's lem say hi lemon uh so good morning everybody oh timmy says hi to lemon and christine says hi to lemon and miller what about liam christine <laughs> uh see Teresa says hi stephanie love hearing those boys see those mommies, the mommy and daddy are worried we don't care. we like hearing babies it's, it gives us something to think about right well, good morning, everyone. Look at all of you. Oh, Gloria, say make sure you like and share. Thank you. Thank you for remembering. Um, let's see. Margaret says, um, oh, she's getting physical therapy of her knee replacement surgery. Oh, Margaret, my dad is getting that surgery tomorrow. Margaret, you're going to have to tell me how you're doing. My dad is literally having that knee replacement surgery tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, oh, Deborah from Huntington Beach. Good morning. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Kathy. Wing it with Ross. New here. Good morning, Ross. Nice to meet you. Um, Rose says, please create a space aliens line. Oh, that would be cute. Um, hi, Patricia. Hi, April. So let me give you guys all, hang on, I got to get chapstick on. Are you guys like me or you have to have stuff on your lips? Okay. So um, number one, you'll all be happy to hear I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Um, my husband uh, actually said the other day, he's like, um, can I ask you something without you getting mad? And I said, uh, hmm, fine ask and he said when are you getting your hair done again <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh you're so mean <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't care uh so yes i'm getting my hair done tomorrow uh so i'm at kirsten and colton's house and the babies liam and miller are eating right now and they spent the night Jeannie says babies are a gift from god yes they absolutely are especially these babies they're miracles and so let's see uh lots of things happening uh, number one, I hope you guys all were able to catch that um, Thursday event we had. It was a very busy event. Uh, we had, uh, I think we almost crashed the website, which um, somebody did email me and I haven't gotten to read it yet about trying to get, we, we tried to get more bandwidth and they said we have unlimited bandwidth. So that makes no sense. But somebody else sent me something. So I got to read that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Lemon is just getting love from me today. Um Oh, I, she's like sitting up here, like I'm like petting her and she's like in heaven. So we're all happy. Every So everybody has a person. So Le I'm Lemon's person right now. Colin has Miller and Kirsten has Liam. My goodness gracious. They're so sweet to let me do this video. Um, let's see. Uh, wow. I have three shipments of pallets trying to be delivered this week, which is very exciting. So crossing our fingers, saying a little prayer that we're going to be getting our ink pads this week. We're going to be getting our small storage envelopes, and we are also going to be getting, oh, some Totally Tiffany items this week. Three different shipments, all pallets, so it's going to be a big week this week at Stamps of Life. Hopefully, we manage to get all of that on the website soon. Um, I already have two more orders of ink pads in, so if your color doesn't come in, it's probably on the next order or the next order after that. Let me tell you guys, I've been, I've been trying really hard. Yes, Nazareth says we need inks. I know. Isn't that the truth? So uh, Michelle says my poor credit card. I understand. I understand. Um, oh, today, 
is the last. Sarah, for your dad's surgery, take a Ziploc bag and fill it with caro corn syrup. Seal the bag. Hang on, I gotta read the rest. Seal the bag and put it. Let's not let me see the rest. Put it in the freezer. Oh, and uh, ice pack. Okay, good. I will do that. We will do that. Thank you. Good idea. Um, Renee says she was scheduled to have a knee and hip replaced during the stay at home order, but I'm waiting for the virus to stop. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, so Timmy says that um, that was your first time doing a Thursday workshop. Good. Good. Now, Timmy, also make sure you visit us on Thursday mornings at 11 because I do a card every Thursday at 11 live too. So that's really fun. Um, my poor babies, can you hear them? Aren't they cute? They're so sweet. Um, let's see what else is going on. So we have, hopefully, please sell the new little ink pads separately. You know what, Jennifer? We're actually not going to be able to. And the reason being is we have to have everything on our website be a certain amount, quantity, quality, uh, price-wise. Because when we ship, when we, we, so we have another company doing our shipping, and it, they charge us $1.75 for the first item. And the problem is, is I don't even think those little ink pads would be $1.75. You know what I mean? I think they'd be like $2.50. And then, um, but the cost and everything involved, we just can't do them singly. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe there's somebody you could share them with, though. Um, yes, Annette, thank you for the reminder. Today is the last day, the last day to join the, the kit club at the lower price. It goes up in price tomorrow. Okay, Kit Club goes up in price tomorrow. If you join today or you're already in the Kit Club, your price is locked in at this price that it is today, $39.99, or if you're gold, it's $34.88. But if you add it later, it's going to cost more. Okay, so please join today. Now, we're out of August kits, right? So what you'll do is you'll get all your free gifts. You'll get your free gifts for joining, and then you're going to get a gift code for the amount that you paid for the Kit Club for August, but you have to do it. Hi, my Miller. Miller, I'm Miller's person, you guys. I am Miller's person. Miller and I are like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, Miller. Thank you. Miller gave me a thumbs up, you guys. Liam, are you going to give me a thumbs up? He, he's busy chewing on his hand. <laughs> uh, the boys are keeping it real, Carol said. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Jennifer said she got an email just now saying that the foil is back in stock. Wow, Jennifer. Um, yes, Ken has been busy in our garage packing. So you're thinking, oh, who, I wonder who packs all these things. Well, that's Ken. Uh, we have some other new items coming up. Um, I'm hoping the end of September, if we can get everything in stock. You guys, we are having the hardest time getting things in stock. So Timmy said she joined the Gold Club. You are set, my love. You are set. Um, so we are, uh, really, really trying to get everything in stock. We are having the worst time, the worst time. Um, oh, Debbie just joined the gold club. Fantastic. You just joined the, the kit club last week. That's awesome. Now here's the deal. You know, you guys all know for the kit club, Ken is including two free, get two free Ken freebies in each shipment for the rest of the year. Well, we're like, okay, that's awesome, but what about January? And so Ken's like, well, I won't have any freebies for January, but there's a chance I'm going to have freebies for February. I'm like, oh, good, Ken. And so Dina and I were talking. We're like, well, because we're, we're changing the kit club in a good way. We're going to be adding more value to it. So stay tuned for that in January. We have lots of exciting things coming in January for the kit club. Uh, we are, oh, we're hoping the Halloween kit, which is separate from our clubs. It's a special seasonal kit that is going to be released. I believe this Thursday that has the new marigold in it. Patty, um, good question. My love, any, um, update on the Stephanie bag, not the pink pink is still in la la land. I don't know why, but the black ones I am told are on the palette that's coming this week which I'm really excited about. The funny thing is you guys listen to this. So I have all these pallets coming to my warehouse, right? Now the warehouse is in Utah. I'm in California, but I have all these pallets coming to Utah. Get this. I have no idea what's on any of them. Like that's not the way to run a business. Why aren't these companies sending me packing lists? So I know what's in the kit. I mean, what's on the pallets. Um, 
Michelle says she can't wait for the online, the Halloween kit and the online class. Yes, the online class they are packing now. I think that's going to go on the website next week. We don't want to overwhelm you guys all at once with all this stuff. So we try to spread it out a little. But the Halloween kit is coming this Thursday. So you guys, guess what? I'll be able to share it on. The, oh, good. I didn't think of this. We're, I'm going to be able to share it on the Thursday Creative Corner, I'll be able to show you the Halloween kit. So make sure. Um, Beth, again, Karen bag, we don't know. Hey, Shelly's like, what Halloween kit? I know. It's a seasonal kit that's coming out. The cool thing about it is it's, one, very limited. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. It has nothing to do with our club, so it's separate. But club members, of course, you get the club discount on it, right? And it comes with, Jacqueline, you can watch later, though. It's okay. Um, and number three, it is coming with the new Marigold full-size ink pad and refill. And you cannot get that color until later because it's exclusive in the kit for a certain amount of months. I don't even know how many months. So, um, yeah, I, Darlene saying I can't wait to get the Black Stephanie bags. Me too. I know. I, I, I'm, like, trying to organize everything. And, and um, so, uh, yes, we have a new club set coming tomorrow. Um, do I know when the baby onesie fold it will be available? Gail wants to know. Probably two more weeks is my estimate. Two more weeks is my estimate. Um, Lynn says, time for Stephanie and family to move up here to Utah. We would love to have you. Do you guys want to move to Utah or stay in California? Sorry. Oh, Lynn. Oh, Colin said Park City. I don't know. <laughs> um, Time for Stephanie. Uh, wait, wait. There was another one. Next, Cheryl wants to know the next HSN date. September 11th, Friday. Go figure, right? A Friday. But on the Tuesday before, September 8th, I will be doing my HSN demo where, you know, I get together. We all get together live. And we have a couple raffles. And we do, I go step by step each item. I demo each item. So you get to see it up close and personal. Way much more time than I get to show on HSN. HSN is like, boop, 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 gone, you know, because they have so much to show. But I will be able to do my online event. That'll be free September 8th. We are actually working on also on our event schedule on our website because we can't do any in-person events. We're going to start listing our online events on our website. So then you guys don't have to go, wait, what's coming up? You know, we'll have it listed. So that's on my schedule to work on this week. So I'm excited about that. Gail said her, her birthday is September 11th. My mom's birthday is September 11th too. My mom's is September 11th also. Um, MP says, I love it. Thank you. Mary says, indic website indicates shipped, but didn't receive a tracking number. Um, Mary, if you didn't get a tracking number, that means it went first class. In, it means it was a low, uh, uh, smaller shipment. And in order to keep our shipping at literally $1.25 for most items, um, per item, uh, we don't have tracking. So it just goes first class mail. Um, let's see. Like the online events will be in one place to see. Carolyn, yes, which will be helpful, won't it? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Monica's birthday is September 2nd. Oh, another birthday on September 12th. Uh, niece's birthday is on September 11th. Um, um, uh, oh, Barb says her dad's birthday is September 11th. Yeah, my dad's birthday is September 29th. And I'll, oh, you guys, if you wouldn't mind, please pray for my dad tomorrow. He is having, um, knee replacement surgery on the knee. <laughs> Fake, didn't it? That was the cutest laugh I've ever heard in my life, and that sounded fake, but that was Miller um, playing with Daddy. Uh, that was so cute. Um, but my dad's, um, my dad's, uh, dad's having knee replacement surgery tomorrow. So if you think about it, could you pray for him? Um, his name is Mike, and uh, he should. He's going to spend one night in the hospital, and hopefully it goes well. Um, but yes. Um, Joe, Joe, um, Joe's birthday's this month too. I know Carol saying. No, we're all loving it. We're all quiet so we can hear. We're all, we're all, tell your dad um, it's not bad, but to do all the physical therapy. Yes. Marion, thank you. Prayers for my dad. Thank you. They're like, love those giggles. Love those giggles. Um, he, does, Lenny does not have Kaiser. Um, but we will, um, I, what's the knee machine? Is it something he can get anywhere else? Sylvia's dad's birthday is the same day. 
Sylvia, do we have the same dad? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was weird. Um, your Nancy, your parents' seventy-first wedding anniversary is September eleventh. That is amazing. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Kimberly says we need to save their giggles on a recording to have as a ringtone. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, Colin, you have to get that on a ringtone for me. Colin will. Colin's the computer guy in the family, so he's going to get that on a ring. That was a genius idea. That's going to be like a birthday every day because I'll get to hear their giggles every time I phone. I'm going to tell people to start calling me so I can hear that giggle. <laughs> that was a good idea. Oh, my gosh. That was genius. Oh, my gosh. That just made my day. <laughs> that was a genius idea. Um, let's see. Uh, it should, Addie says it should be part of his, part, his physical therapy. I will find out. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Would love the new ink color doesn't don't really do Halloween is kit um is kit more fallish. Let me think for a second, sweetie. It is a lot of fall. We're calling it Halloween, but I'm trying to think. There, I I got to briefly see it today. I'm thinking there's at least three or four items in there that are not Halloween but more fall. We're talking orange, black, that kind of thing. You'll get to, you'll get to see it on Thursday. So then you can decide if you want to buy it. But there isn't really that much Halloween in it. I mean, I think there's one banner that says Happy Halloween on this one thing. But I think you might still want to get it. But but you get to look at I'll show it to you all on the on the thing beforehand. So then you can decide. Um, prayers for your dad. Thank you. Oh, Darlene wants me to remind you to make sure you join the fan club on the on the um, Facebook fan page. Because um, join the fan page on Facebook. Uh, they have a lot of fun things on there. We do raffles on there once in a while. And we do like that. Gloria says, I agree. Ringtone with Liam and Miller's laugh. Yes. Hi, Deborah. Good morning. You haven't missed too much yet, my love. Don't worry. You're good. You're good. Oh, you know what, you guys? In all of this, sneak peek for tomorrow. Marianne, I don't because I'm at the wrong I mean, I'm not at the wrong house. I'm in a different house. I'm at Kirsten and Collins' house. Um, so I don't have one, but uh, they will post one. Either Dina or Ken post those on Facebook or uh, I think Facebook and Instagram. They post little sneak peeks. So that will be coming. Will the flash, will the Halloween kit be a flash sale? It will not, Pam, but it is limited edition. So once it's gone, it's gone forever. Mm. Hopped over from YouTube. Sound is better here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Lynn is also Daisy. How <laughs> funny. Um, they did put me on a, Colin and Ken put, I have a special cord in my computer and it's supposed to make YouTube better. It could just be YouTube is bad. Okay, let me go. I want to go through some of these cards, you guys, because I still, I'm telling you guys, I still have a, ba a basket of cards to share with you. Um, so this is a cute one. This one is from Cindy. Cindy, how come I know your last name? I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. I know who you are. That's Cindy, and it's a cute one. This is from a different company, but that's cute. That's really cute. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another one. This one is from Charlene. It's our cute little birdie. Oh, oh, what's this? As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Psalms 103.12. Oh, there's another one. He satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Psalm 107.9. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. Um, let's see. You know what? There was one the other day that had something in it, and I forgot to share that. Oh, here's a cute one. Oh, who's this from? This one's from Carrie. Happy birthday with my little Yubi Torty and hibiscus flowers, because yes, Yubi eats hibiscus flowers. Oh, here's a cute flip it from ASR. This is from Amanda Rhodes. Happy birthday. I love it. Let's see. Oh, here's another flip it. Made with love 2020. This is from Jackie. Happy birthday with, with oh, look, a little wobbly. Look, I love it. I love, you know, I love my little Yubi. I love my little guy. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a cute one. Look how cute that birdhouse is. This is from Elaine. Look how pretty. And see how when you ink the edges, how much it just adds. It just adds so much. Um, let's see. Oh, look at this fancy, fancy one. Happy birthday. Oh, this was a fancy one. Oh, oh, I got a letter on that one. But look, this is, I think that's a Karen Bernstein one. Isn't that cute? Happy birthday. Look at the letters, though. Those are HSN letters. Oh, and as a matter of fact, HSN reordered these letters. So you'll be able to get those letters on HSN Pretty. And she sent me a nice letter. And let's see. Oh, here. Whoa, whoa, whoops. Got stuck. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, there. 
Oh, here's a look. Oh, I love that dotted flower background. This is the toilet paper one. Remember, you guys, that I got the idea from the toilet paper. By the way, ran out of toilet paper at my house. This is from Cheryl. I ran out of toilet paper at my house. I'm going to have to steal some from Kirsten and Colin. You know why? Because apparently my husband one time bought the cheapest stuff that you can see through. And it's disgusting. Okay. Here is one by Sandy. Look how cute. Look how cute. He's holding cookie with sunglasses and a little party hat. I love it. I love it. Isn't that cute? So cute. Um, let's see. Uh, wishing you a perfect birthday with Cheerio the cookie. And this is from Deborah. Look how cute. She wrote me a nice note too. I love those. Oh my gosh. Look at this one, you guys. <gasps> this is one of my favorite backgrounds in the world. This is the mom's background. You are special. And that's colored. Oh my gosh. Leslie made this. Oh, for my design team. Leslie made that. Oh, here's a cute one. Oops, wait. Wait, I got stuck. No, this is right. No, wait, this is, oh, there was a letter. Okay, so look how cute this is. This is our gingerbread girl. And I, who made this? Sid made this for me. And she said um, that she makes little girls like this for every holiday, which is cute. So this is her birthday girl using the girl gingerbread. Isn't that cute? Hang on, I think she she said, um, it's one of her calendar girls. She has, she almost has one for every month. This is the birthday one. Isn't that adorable? Isn't she cute? I love her. Um, here's a cute square one. Happy birthday. Open and close with how fun. And this is from Mar Marie. This is from Marie. Look, the cards are so awesome, you guys. Ooh, here is a cute one. Oh, now this is one. I, I kept the envelope. I, I, I got to take off her name so you guys can't see her address because that'd be weird. Um, hang on. Hang on. Wait, it's Laura, but I want to take off her address so you because I don't you don't have to see her address. Hang on. Okay, so this was from Laura Slimline. As we all know, we all love our slimlines. Open it up, and this one is from Laura. But I want you to see. So she did the background, but I want you to see she also did the envelope. We got to start, and I'm guilty of not doing this. We need to start decorating our envelopes more, don't we? Because and then I have a couple that decorated the envelopes. So. This one is by Pammy, and look how gorgeous that is, first of all. I love those leaves. Those leaves, like, have a place in my heart. I love them. This is from Pammy. She decorated the inside, but look at the envelope, you guys. First, she decorated, she stamped the inside green. Then she inked this. This is a white envelope, you guys. She inked this. Then she inked the front and stamped the front. Isn't that fun? I love that. That's so fun, because then you know something yummy is inside. Oh, here's a cute one. Hope your birthday is a splash. Isn't that fun? And this is a sweet, oh, this is a cute, and you know what? You guys tell me if we should do this as a card, as a stamp. But look, she has this little note in here. It's like a little post-it. And it says, I didn't sign this card before I sent it on to you, although it holds my warmest thoughts invisible, but true. So if you find you need to brighten someone else's day, just take this card and sign it and send it on its way. Melissa, isn't that cute? I love that idea because, you know, some people that we send cards to, and then she wrote a nice letter too. So you always got to include something, right? But, um, oh, and Melissa wants to know, how does someone get to be a part of our design team? Good question. Oh, that's, that's me. I'm being nervous. Oh, baby. Um, how does someone get to be a part of our design team? That is the way, the, what you do is you need, bless you, my love. You need to post a lot on Instagram and tag us. Because we want to see your Instagram. We used to make a rule that you had to have a blog, but that's no longer the rule. But you need to have an Instagram and post on your Instagram and your Facebook cards that you've made using our products and tag us so we get to see them, okay? So make sure you do that. And then um, Dina will see it. And if we are looking for someone, you never know, right? Carmen says, yes, love that idea for not writing in the card, but including the note. Yes, I'm going to pull that note so we remember. Okay, oh, here's another cute one. Look how gorgeous this pattern. They made their own pattern paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Slim line. And this is by Jill. I love that. Oh my goodness. And she decorated the back. Look how pretty that is. Aloha. Oh, sad. Kirsten, sad. We canceled our Hawaii trip for this year. We used to, we go to Hawaii every year for our little vacation, but no, it got canceled. So canceled. And the rude part though, you guys, is it's a timeshare. We bought the timeshare, what, five years ago. We're supposed to get points if we don't do it. They didn't give us all our points back. 
which I'm really think that's rude because they're like, I know they're like, oh, oh, well, we all have to take a hit because it's the virus. I'm like, excuse me, Marriott. I think you can take the hit a lot easier than Stephanie Bernard can take the hit, but not going to worry about it. Right? Colin, Colin's laughing. He's like, yeah. So, and we have to use them within two years. So we're going to have to plan a huge party in Hawaii for the whole family. Look how cute that is. Who made this? Vanessa made this one. She's so cute. Look at her. I love her. Okay. But it's for my design team. Um, oh, here's a gnome. Oh, Kenny and I were talking about gnomes the other day. The things we talked about. This one is from Tanya. Tanya. Oh, is he getting ready for bed already? Oh, Miller's already getting ready for bed. Wow. Oh, can we say hi? Oh, he's going to be really sleepy, you guys. Oh, my baby. He's in his little sleep, sleep set. Everybody say goodnight to Miller. This is Miller. Miller likes to be on TV, so he'll say hi. Look, his eyes, his eyes are so tired. Hi. He's like, hi. Stand up, baby. Stand up. Hi, everybody. My name is Miller, and I love my grandma. Oh, and now we have lemon because lemon can't be without. Mm. Oh, look at the baby. He's in his little sleep sack. Say hi, everybody. I look like a little seal or a starfish. Say hi, everybody. This is Miller. Miller loves his grandma. Huh? Say join the club before the price goes up tomorrow. Huh? Oh, lemon. Oh, my gosh, lemon. You are, they can't see you very well, lemon. Oh, everybody saying good night, Miller. Say sleep tight. Oh, Lemon, come over here so they can really see you, baby. There. Yes. Because what, why not make sure that the whole family's involved? Huh. Huh. Grandma loves Miller. Grandma loves Miller. You can go night night and Grandma get you when you wake up. Mm, okay. And that that's a great idea. I love that. I've been working on more. I did three Steffi dolls yesterday, you guys. Mm, everybody saying good night, Miller. Good night. He's so precious. Oh, we love you. Oh, thank you. Isn't he sweet? Isn't he sweet? Good night, baby. Sleep a long time. Sleep a long time. Oh, he's like zoning out. He's like, oh, he's, he's milk drunk. Nancy says, so sweet. Oh, he fast by says, I know. Is that the truth? Connie says, he's so precious. Thank you. Everybody saying good night. Oh, Patricia just joined the club, Miller, so you'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> thank you, Patricia. <laughs> Um, I know it's they're so sweet, and I, you know what, I baby stalk my babies because I'm they have this app that I can watch them sleeping. It's so nice. In the middle of the night, I kind of look to check and see how they're doing. Um, they are very precious, very precious babies, and their parents work so hard. Twins are a lot, you guys. You think, oh, I had one baby. Oh, I could do two. It's not that big of a deal. It is way more than just having two babies, you guys. Because first of all, you have to have two of everything. Second of all, think of the cost because you have to have two of everything. And they have all these fun contraptions now. Diapers, <laughs> call it holding up diapers. Yes, diapers get expensive. And they have to wear these special diapers at night. They cost 30 cents each, which I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but you're thinking 60 cents every night. That adds up for these parents, I know. Luckily, they have a grandma and grandpa. <laughs> we have both. Um, grandchildren are awesome. We always say it isn't doubled, it's squared. It is squared. Yeah, it, it's just a lot. Um, Carmen wants to know, are they sleeping through the night yet? Last night, no, but the night before, yes. So I think it's like baby steps. You know what I mean? You know how it's like one of those two steps forward, one step back. So we're getting really close on them sleeping all night. But last night wasn't good, but the night before was very good. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Marianne says, my twins just started college. Whoa. Double the cost, right, Marianne? Yeah. Oh, I'd be in a mental haze 24-7 with twins. Daisy, I think we all are right now. I think we're all kind of hi Liam. I think we're all kind of in a in a in a daze. Oh, good burpee. It's like you never you 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 like celebrate burps. It's like so embarrassing, but you do. <laughs> okay, Jay. We are always like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, someday, boys, I'm going to get mad at you when you burp, but for now, you're allowed to burp. <laughs> um, oh, Suzanne says she, her, her grandson, she just got her first grandson a week ago, but they live in North Carolina. Oh, you got you to gotta go visit. You got to go visit. Um, um, and that's that she was born in Hawaii. First, 50th birthday, and you had a luau. That is awesome. April says her husband is a twin. Yeah, we don't have any twins in the family at all so when um kirsten told me she was having twins i'm like you know what because you know how we were in all that bad situation um 
I, I just knew it was God's way of blessing me. And um, he knew we needed a real jolt. And boy, did we get a jolt with these boys. We love them so much. They're so exciting. And uh, we just, they're just so fun. Yeah, they are getting much closer to full nights of sleep. Yes, yes, which we're very happy about that. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot. I see, I get sidetracked. I still have all these cards. Okay, let me show you a couple more cards. So here's a cute one with the, with the hummingbird. Now, those of you that love the hummingbird, we're I pitched to HSN a smaller size and a little different, but I know you guys really like that hummingbird. This is from Anne, a gold club member. Oh, here's my HSN happy bird. Oh no, this was not the HSN one. Sorry, you guys. This was uh, this card. It's this card. And this is by Punky. What a cute name. Oh, look at the stars. I love those dog stars. Are those fun? Oh, here's our cute little bird. And this one is from Betty. Oh, Betty made me my, oh, look, Betty. Look, Betty. I still wear my mask. Betty made me some masks, and I still wear them. Look, I have one right here next to my desk. This is the lady that made me the mask, AJ. <laughs> um, are you going back up to go to work? Okay. Colin, if you need to, are you going to be able to put him down, or do you need me to do it? Oh, okay. Oh, Colin. Okay. Here is, okay. Here is a cute, oh, this is by Victoria, and Victoria in New York is 13, my friends. Uh, hello, look at that. Happy birthday. She did the shadow box. Look at that with the layers and everything. I love the candles. Oh, she even got the dotted square up at the top. She even decorated the back. Victoria, you are awesome. You are on your way, kid. Look at you. Added all that extra bling. I love it. I love it. Good job, Victoria. Only 13. Look at you. Um... Oh, and then uh, Diane says, happy 25th anniversary on your 25th birthday. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And this is, oh, there's happy birthday. This is from Diane. Cute. Let's see. Oh, this one is from oh, my Maui buddy, Lisa. My Maui buddy that I won't be able to see. Lisa, someday we're going to see each other in Maui. How's that, my love? Let's get a, have a get-together in Maui. Let's all of us have a get-together in Maui when all this craziness is over. This is Julie, my little, I love this little thing. And she says, celebrate your special day. Hope your day is special as you are from Julie in California, Escondido. She's not that far away from me. Let's see. Oh, they, they're so sweet. My kids are so sweet. Colin and Kirsten are both working. Well, Kirsten's working part-time online. Colin is working full-time. Obviously, he works full-time. And he's taking some time. Oh, he's bringing his laptop top down so he could help so he can help with the baby so I can do my video. That's so nice. And this is Brenda. So pretty. I love that flower, you guys. I love that. That's Brenda. Oh, here's another. Oh, oh, this was another card that Elaine decorated. I didn't show you this. Look at that. She really went to town on this. She even edged, she even inked the grass on there. This is all ink. Isn't that gorgeous? You guys, we have to start decorating our envelopes. That's going to give us something else to do. I love it. I really love that idea. Okay, here's a happy birthday. And this is from Margaret. Now, here's something I always tell you guys. Here is the, the card. And see, she used dark cardstock, but that's okay because you get that layering die. Put the layering die in white. Now you've got another layer in there. Isn't that awesome? And then you can read what you've stamped. I love it. Um, here's a cute one. Oh, who, who Carol made this and she made her own barn because she said she didn't have our barn, which is okay. And she made this and look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to read it to you because I think it's backwards. You have got goat to be kidding me. Go hog wild. Quit horsing around. Holy cow, you're getting old. Happy birthday, you spring chicken. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love that. I think I'm going to need to use our um, little book, our little um, fold it to make books for the boys when they're a little older. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Make them little books. Okay, here's, oh, this is, this is one of, oh, oh, I have to talk about on this one. Okay, first of all, this is, this is, whoops, this was in there, and I took it out because I already read it, but hang on, I'm going to put this in there. This is our Z Fold card. This is from Kathy. This is our Z Fold card. The Z Fold card is one of the best-selling ones on our website, Z Fold card, and she put a nice message in there, but this is a gift for you, and it's this little 
bookmark. And I was like, oh, this is fancy wancy. This is interesting. But then I read her directions about it. And first of all, she has a couple layers of cardstock on here. So that's nice. And it has all these great, it has one, two, three, four, five, five different ribbons. And they're almost, they're, there's three different colors. Now you're going, that's an interesting bookmark. No, listen to this, you guys. You put, and this is genius. I've never seen this before. So Kathy, you, you knock my socks off. This goes in the spine of your Bible. You know how when your Bible opens, it has that little spot. So this goes in the spine. Then you have all these different markers to put, like if you're doing this Bible study, you put it over here. If you're doing a Bible study on, let's say, Revelations, because that's at the end, you put that over there. And then they can hold all your different spots. Okay. Am I like behind the times or what? This is awesome. So I was, I was having a hard time leaving it with the card because I wanted to use it, but I wanted to make sure I gave credit where credit was due. And Kathy designed this and I love this idea. So that's what it looks like. Isn't that cool? And then it's about the size of my, right there. So you can get, oh wait, hang on. This is, this is gonna be, so it's a little smaller than, it's about five inches by probably one and a half inches. I love that though. That's such a good idea. And it's nice and strong. She's got like some chipboard or something and it's nice and strong. I love that idea. So that's going in my Bible. Oh, here's a cute one with our little bird cage. A little birdie told me it was your birthday. And this is by Melody. Melody is so my sweet. She's my sweet friend I always see in Pennsylvania. Um, and I, yeah, she's such a sweetheart. Such a, every time I see her, I, I, I get, go like this for hugs. <laughs> okay, let's see this one. Um, and this is from Lisa. Cute, cute with the puppy stickers. Now, I will be honest, you guys, I've always been a germaphobe. I don't know how many of you know that, but I'm, I'm not one that likes to shake hands. I love to hug. So I'm a hugger. Whenever you see me, don't even try to shake my hand. Just hug me. Okay. I much prefer hugs and less germs, really, I think. But it's just hugs are better. We, and especially nowadays, you guys, you guys got to start hugging people in your families because you're supposed to have like 10 hugs a day to be normal. And we're all going crazy with all this like walk in the house kind of stuff. So if you need to hug yourself, but you're supposed to have hugs. Um, uh, uh, line in May, so much work. My daughter, oh, Lynn says, my daughter is a teacher who took a year leave before COVID because she was having my new ba newest baby girl grandchild. She went crazy online in May. It is so much work. It is a lot of work. It's amazing. It's a crazy at how much work it is. It's almost, I, I in, in fact, I think it's almost more work. Kirsten's in a lucky situation where she teaches technology, so she doesn't have a lot of prep work to do, which is helpful for her. But if you're teaching any other um, subject. Imagine you guys think about this just for a second. How are our teachers teaching math online? Like five plus five, they have to have like a marker wipe off board. It has to, you can't, you can't be looking at a web, uh, just the thoughts. Oh, bless their hearts. They're working so hard. Uh -huh. oh, can you make a shaker card dies to sell? We know the kit was a limited edition. Can you make a shaker card to be part of your items? Annette, interesting question. And you said somebody else asked that too. Kim asked that too. There is in, wait, this is September, October. October's club kit. I can't tell you what it is. October's stamp and die hard kit has an add-on die set that will make that item a shaker. And I am actually working on another one to pitch to um, HSN. But yes, we are starting to think a little bit more about shakers. And we are working on that. Yes. Just saying. Um, Cole, Cole Cola says, I did remote teaching in the spring. So much more work than in person. I think so, too. I think so, too. Um, oh, my gosh. I think. Oh, this is Karen and Mackenzie sent me a picture, which I love because then, you know, I can always put because sometimes a lot of times I see you guys in person, but I forget your names, but I know your faces. And so it's nice when you guys send me pictures because then I go, oh, yeah, I remember because I'm good with faces. I'm not good with names. Um, here's a cute one. Happy birthday with our swirl, our swish card. This is by Karen. Oh, look how pretty that is. Gorgeous on the inside. Thank you, Karen. Let's see. Oh, here's another hello friend, handmade with love, Ooh, with a hidden hello. You know I love those, Pam. Thank you, Pam. That's gorgeous. 
I think I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to save the rest for next week. What a friend we have in Jesus. That's pretty. This is by Robin. Happy 50th. Look at that. I love that. Thank you, Robin. One more. One more this time. Then we'll do the rest next time. This one is by Gloria. I know Gloria's on there. Gloria Stocks is on there. Cute, cute. Happy birthday. Isn't that awesome? Um, Jennifer says, math teacher sends video examples. Oh, that's good. But yeah, Suzanne says, we need to be praying for our teachers. We do. We do. Well, HSN reorder the matching numbers. Bibiana, they did not. They did not. So six months after the original date, we're allowed to release those. So we might be releasing those on our website because, yeah, you, you need the numbers, right? I mean, right? So, yeah, um, those will probably be on. Um, Addie, I need you to go use that shaker card. You'll love it. Uh, the shaker kit. You'll love it. Um, did they pick up the number? Does Carrie? I know they did not. Um, uh, 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 please release the hummingbird dies and stamps to buy. Miss the kit. Patty Cake says. Um, yeah, Patty Cakes. We're working on. So HSN. When I put kits together for HSN, um, they said you know too many flowers. So I said okay. Um, yes, Daphne. I had a big birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so they said. Um, you know, we want something else. So I said, well, what about hummingbird? So we're going to, you're going to see that art in a little different form, but yes. Um, I saw somebody ask, um, is your kit club? Anne says, is your card kit price going up? Yes. Tomorrow. If you've been considering joining the card kit club, do it today. Do it today. It goes up tomorrow. If you do it today, or you're already in the card kit club, you are locked in for as long as you're in the club, you were grandfathered in or grandmothered in <laughs> and you're locked in at that price. So if you join tomorrow, you're paying the higher price. If you join today, you're paying the lower price and you're locked in. Okay. So join today if you want to do it. Um, MJ, we have been discussing that. Yes, that is in the works. Envelope for the slimline guy. Jeannie, we haven't gotten there yet. I'm trying to decide on the size. That'd be a very expensive die. So I don't know. Daisy says, go gold. You'll have no regrets. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you. Uh, the card kit club price does go up tomorrow. Yes. Um, let's see. Can't wait for the hummingbird. Mary says, um, uh, MJ says, thanks. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Missy says the numbers. Yeah. We'll probably have to add that. Yeah. Jeannie, it's a 10, number 10 business, regular business envelope. Um, ooh, Annette's having a 60 birth, 60th birthday luau next year. Oh, you're going to roast a whole pig Hawaiian style. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is so fun. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's any other things happening. Thursday, 11 o'clock, we're doing our crafter's corner. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. Aren't you excited for me? Ken said I needed to get my hair done. Uh, let's see what else is happening. Um, um, trying to think. Wednesday, nothing really happening. Thursday, Friday. Friday, I get to, the babies are coming to my house. Oh, he's getting a little milk drunk too. Yes. Oh, everybody, Liam's gonna come say good night to us. Oh, we're not gonna make fun of the swaddle because it's a hand-me-down, and we love hand-me-downs. We're not gonna make fun of his swaddle because it's a little pink. Like, look at this. <laughs> That's okay. Spit up all over my computer, then I get a new one. <sighs> See, my name is Liam, and I love my grandma more than anybody in the world except my mommy and daddy, right? And God. But but he's not, yeah. Yeah, that's different. Okay, say hi, everybody. Look, who's that, Liam? Who's that? Is that baby Liam? Liam is our happy boy. Liam is happy no matter what. <gasps> Where's daddy? Oh, there's daddy. Daddy's making faces at us, huh? Oh, I just love each other so much. I just want to squeeze it. I just want to squeeze it. Come on, baby. Forever and ever. You're going to go take a nap? Yeah, you're going to go take a nap and sleep a long time? You're going to sleep alone. Look at his little dimples. He gets the dimples from grandma. Look, see, I have them too. Look, you have a little dimple right there. Smile again. Smile again. Oh, my baby. There you are. You're looking down. You're looking at yourself. Look up there. you got to look up there. <laughs> oh, there's a little one. There's a little one. Say hi. Oh, daddy's over there. Huh? Say hi, dude. Okay. 
say good night, everybody. My mom's getting me all wound up and I'm supposed to go to bed. Good night. But these swaddles help you guys a lot. They know that it's bedtime when they get them on. Okay? Kisses. Grandma loves you. Grandma loves you. I see you when you wake up. Thank you for being a good boy. Okay. Okay. We'll give you back to daddy. Say bye, everybody. Night, night. Oh, we match almost here. Oh, thank you, Colin. Thank you. Oh, thank you. As all of you grandmas know out there, it's like our hearts are literally walking outside of our body, aren't they? Oh my goodness gracious, I love those little critters so much. They're so fun. They're just so sweet. Oh my gosh, it makes me get teary-eyed. The other day, you guys, listen to this. I gotta start being a little quiet. The other day, um, I was singing You Are My Sunshine to the babies, and I got to cry. They had to sing that. And I was saying, um, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy, and the skies are great. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. And I started to cry because as little boys, they will never know. Because mommies, well, I mean, girls become mommies and they, they kind of have an idea because, you know, they love their baby so much. And they go, wow, if, if my mom loves me as much as I love my baby, wow, right? But the boys, you know, boys are just different. They're just different. They're awesome. They're awesome. They, they, but, but daddies love their babies different than mommies do because they're like the fun parent, right? And so I just, I just started crying. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you guys, I just love them so much. And Ken, you guys, I need to get on video how Ken interacts with them. Um, because when Ken was, when our girls were born, you know, we were younger. I was 22. He was 25 when Kirsten was born. And, you know, we're, we're still just dealing with life and, and bills and bills and bills and bills and working and working and working. And he just, it was just, it was just different. But now that he has boys and he's more relaxed and he's more, um, I would say he's happier because he doesn't, he, he doesn't, he works a lot of hours, but he gets to pick and choose what hours he works. So he can work around family time. Whereas before he was a UPS driver, he was gone from seven in the morning till seven at night or eight at night. Um, and that was it. But now, you know, he can work early in the morning when he knows the boys are coming over so we can spend all day with the boys and then work that night. You know what I mean? So we get to, we, our schedules are very, very lenient right now. And so we just get to spend so much more time with the babies. That's one thing that um, the pandemic has done in a positive way for us. Um, Cause I'm trying to always look at the positive, you know, and the positive part is because we can't travel we're spending more time with the babies and we're seeing them at least one or two days more than we would be if we were traveling. So that's really good for us. And I'm always trying to look at all the positive because let me tell you guys, there's a lot of negative isn't there. And I feel so bad um, for everybody. So um, I could never be a mom. So I can't be a grandma. Oh, Chris, you know what, Chris, Chris, you need to find some, um, you, you, I want, this is what I want you to do. My love. I want you to go to like the foster care group in your area. They are always looking for families or, I mean, families are always looking for an older adult to be a foster grandparent or an adoptive grandparent. Because let me tell you, I know a lot of people who don't, who have lost their parents and their young, young families and they have babies and they would love to have someone in their lives be that grandparent figure for them. Chris, please look into that. Please, 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 my love. Because I think it would not only be amazing for you, but it would be amazing for them. You don't even have to spend any money doing it, but just spending that quality time with little ones. First of all, it makes us young, keeps us young. And imagine the, the, the positivity you could bring to someone's life, especially the parents that like need a break because you guys, Oh, do you guys remember how hard it is to take care of babies and how exhausting Dina? Okay. So she, Dina says she couldn't have children either. So she spoils her nieces and nephews. Great. Great. Because you need those little kids in your life. So Chris, please go look into that. Okay. My love. And I want you to check back. You do work with adults with developmental disability. So that helps. That's great. That's good. Yeah. That would help a little too, but look for a little one in your life. I, I bet you through your work or something, you could find a family or something, even if it's a coworkers or something just to get that extra hugs and love. You know what I mean? 
Um, how do you find someone would love to be a foster grandma? Mary says, I recommend, and I'll be honest, Mary, I don't know that much about the situation, but, um, oh, oh my gosh, I've never heard of, um, before foster grandmas. Yes. I think you guys need to look into it. Contact your, um, your like child protective services or something. Um, they might be overwhelmed right now, but I mean, can you imagine some of the parents right now are going crazy stuck at home they have no help like their parents are gone or live far away there's got to be little kids in your community that would love to spend time with you and to have the love of a grandparent so please look into that you guys um i don't know we we need to um come here lemon come here lemon um, we need to um, find out and let, let do a Google search. Mary Lynn says she doesn't have any children, so she uses her nieces and nephews. Yeah. Oh, NICU. Eleanor says that the baby NICU needs volunteer grandparents. Yes. Um, yeah. They, so you guys, um, so you share, Keitha shares her grandsons with her sister. Yeah. Let's look into those. Some of um, Gloria says some of your schools might have a foster grandparent program. Yes. You guys, please do, because not only... Is it going to make you, oh, check with local churches, Dina says, yes. Not only is it going to enrich your life, it's going to enrich their life. Because I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't have a grandma growing up. My grandma lived in Montana, so I saw her once a year for a week, right? Or you can volunteer at a hospital, Danya says, um, and find somebody that way. But there are so many young families out there that would love to have a foster grandparent. So I really, I want you guys to all start Googling in your area. Thank you, Colin. I want you all to um, Google in your area, like foster grandparenting or something like that, because that is going to help your sanity a lot because we all need those little people in our lives, right? Um, Sneakerpot says, I sometimes think God doesn't bless some with children so that they can share love with others who need it. Ooh, I hope that came out right and doesn't sound insensitive. Sinker putts, no, that's a, that's a good. I, yeah, we all have love in our hearts and we need to. Oh, somebody said, uh, Deanna said, do a reading program at your local school and library. That's awesome. No, you guys, yeah, let's, 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 let's really start thinking about that. Um, yeah, some might restrict you because of COVID. Yeah, COVID might. But, but if you get into a program now, Maybe you could at least video call, right? We could video call now. And then once the virus gets back to like, we get back to almost normal life, maybe you could start like, I mean, how fun would that be? How fun would that be? Um, yeah, you guys, Chris, you started a whole new, uh, this whole new thing. Just Chris mentioning that one little thing, planted a seed in a lot of your guys' lives just now. Can you guys feel it? Can you feel it? There are little kids out there that need your love that don't have grandparents. I mean, I know as grandparents, I mean, as older women, it's hard not to have grandchildren, but imagine those grandchildren that don't have grandparents. They need you. They need you. So let's go find them. Go find them. I don't, I don't, I mean, go to churches, try, um, you know, they'll probably make you do like a background check or a fingerprint check, of course, which, you know, you'd want them to do, right? Um, but Oh, how fun to have a, a I, and you know what they used to have? I don't know if they still have it. Ken and I wanted to do the big brother, big sister program. So I bet you they have something like that. Um, I bet you they have something like that. Um, Camille says, what a great group with so many ideas. I know. I love it. Marianne says, yes, I sure do feel it. I know, Mary Lynn, don't you? Like, I just, I feel like something's happening right now. We're going to start, we're going to start touching lives. Um so um, Tammy says, my trainer's wife did not want kids, so he would go to the grade school and read to the kids. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so, oh, Sherry, that makes me sad. And they can craft with us. We can teach them how to craft. Especially, you guys, think about this, too. Especially in lower income areas, no matter where we all live, we all live near a low income area, right? Where those parents are struggling. Imagine what it would be for you to take that kid to Taco Bell. You know what I mean? Or, um, you know, eventually they might not let you start off taking the kid away, but you know what I mean? Like bringing Taco Bell for the kid or bringing some little craft supplies and making a card, little things like that can make a huge difference, a huge difference. I am loving these ideas, you guys. Angie says she works in the church nursery and she's worked there for 16 years. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, 
Oh, Renee says I used to teach three six year olds. Each class had an adopted grandma. It was great for the grandmas and the kids and the teachers too. I love that. Doug and Judy say we had adopted grandparents and they were our only ones. See, you know what? I life would have been so different for me if I got to like be around someone that was older all the time. You know, because our parent the, the the parents need a break. These parents need a break, especially nowadays. It's crazy. So how fun. Um, Quilty says, my son works at two libraries and people volunteer and teach a craft to the kids. Oh, card making is a huge craft and it's a pretty cheap one, right? I mean, okay, I just said something funny. I said crafting, card making was cheap. Card making in a general way, just using cardstock or even construction paper for the children. Kids don't need our expensive cardstock. You know what I mean? We could just, you could buy a pack of construction paper. That's like $3 for a whole pack. You know what I mean? That is a great idea. And all your leftovers. If you have leftover stickers or leftover anything, they would love it. You guys, I'm loving this idea. I want you guys all to check in with me. I want you all to go find something like that that you can do if you need something to do. I, oh my gosh, my heart is just like pounding right now. I think that would be, it's going to be so awesome. Imagine those little kids that you're going to touch their lives. That, that, wow. Wow. There's something happening right now. I feel like, I feel it. I feel it. Um, the kids love it. Um, we can buy cheap card stock to horses. Yeah. Or even construction paper. Kids don't care. Kids don't care. The kids love the fold it's Betty. I, yeah. They would love all the fold -its. So, yeah. And then when more supplies come from the Stamps of Life, you can tell your husbands, oh, well, you know, it's for the children. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, Tammy says, my sister is not a crafter, but my niece is. And you craft together. That is awesome. That is awesome. Janet says, I always donate my older craft supplies to the children's hospital where I live. Oh, that's a great idea. Dieta says, put the goodies in a backpack for them. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, wow. You guys are all coming up with some amazing ideas. Oh, Ronald McDonald's houses need help with crafting. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. This is fun, you guys. This is really fun. Um, let's see. Mary Lynn says, I love putting out craft supplies and seeing what the kids do. Yeah. Well, for example, remember that 13-year-old. Hello. Look at this, you guys. 13-year-old. This was Victoria. She made this. 13. That is awesome. We got to get this next generation crafting, right? And, you know, this is awesome. I love this. Um, Carolyn says, I have a friend who rocks the crack babies at the hospital. May want to check into something like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gosh, those babies just need our love, right? You know what? I'm I'm questioning that. Um, yeah, wait, we might have. So oh, Dances with Pam says, we had foster grandparents from our church when we were little kids. We didn't know they weren't real grandparents. Oh, isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Um, let's see. Uh, if you don't have a Ronald McDonald house near you, you most likely have something similar that will let you help out. Parents need a break, Susan says. Susan, truer words have never been spoken. Those parents, especially now when they're stuck at home. Oh, little kids, you know, you need to you need a break. You know what I mean? I used to go into the bathroom when my kids were little. I just say, Mommy wants to go potty in peace. Just let me have let me have three minutes to go potty in peace. <laughs> and I shut the door and go potty by myself. <laughs> yes, the grandkids always beg to stamp and craft when they're here, Dale says. That's awesome. They usually ask for supplies for birthdays and Christmas. Dale, that's even better. That's awesome. So you guys. I think we started planting a couple seeds today. I think some of you, I really, really want some of you that need some little kids in your lives. I want you to start Googling in your area. Try to find someone that you, a group you can connect with. Um, be prepared. They're probably, you might, you might, you know, have to get fingerprinted or background check or whatever. Who cares, right? Get it done. And I want to hear back from you. Okay. Like next Monday, let's talk about this again and find out how we've all done. Find a place in your area that you can volunteer somehow. Again. Might not be able to right now because of the virus, but maybe you could at least start connecting online with this child and then, you know, they can start seeing your face and then you can talk about things you want to do. That would be fun too, right? Right? So Lady G Crafty says, I love all your cards. Thank you. Suzanne says her bathroom was the escape too. Um, local parks always need help too. Yes. Okay, you guys, I need to head out, but thank you all so much for your cards. I do still have half a bucket left. So we'll be talking about those next week. Um, but I want you to, Dina says, I just love how God uses you, Stephanie, in the ministry called the Stamps of Life. 
Listen to the urging of the Holy Spirit. Isn't that true, Dina? Thank you. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. You know what? And actually, yesterday, it's a message at church. Um, we were doing Acts. I believe it was Acts 9. And um, it, it was about Saul and how God was using Saul. Because Saul was a really bad guy in the beginning, you guys. And then God... Um, made him blind and then um he the, he saw the light and the holy spirit came upon him and um our pastor said you know god is going to use people god is going to see potential in people that other people wouldn't see that potential so god sees potential in all of us that others around us aren't going to see so for example you know you um somebody just said that you know i was a good um uh, uh, the ministry of sam's of life i mean I, I love that idea. I've never thought of it like that. Um, I mean, I, I, I have, but I, you know what I mean? Like that was never a plan, but I do. I, I feel like, I feel like he does use me sometimes and, and I'm like humbled and honored. And like, I'm like, I'm just a nobody. You know what I mean? Um, Oh, hang on. Somebody else posted something. I'm making cards with over 60 young girls at gems, girls everywhere meeting their savior. Oh, that's awesome. That that's awesome. So, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. So, but God sees potential in all of us. And so are you all living up to your potential? Um, so think about where, how you could connect with a little family or a little a young family. I mean, those young families, oh gosh, can you imagine what they're going through right now? Hopefully they're, I mean, you know, cause some of them could be out of work. I mean, if we could help, it'd be awesome. So I got to head out you guys. Um, Lisa says TSLL saves me from my depression. Oh, Lisa, bless your heart. You know what? And that is a real thing. Um, a lot of people in my, I, I suffer from, um, um, depression. My, um, my daughter, um, Katie, a lot of depression and anxiety. You, it's something that's real. And, um, sometimes only medication can fix it or help it, not even fix it. But yeah, it's, we need to stay upbeat as much as possible. That's why I like our fan group page on Facebook to be positivity only because you need a place to go where it's all positive all positive. We need happy. I don't, I, I barely read the newspaper anymore. I skim it just because some of it, I just don't need to know. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can't fix the, the, the politics. I can't fix any of that. I can pray for it, but I can't fix any of it. So it's better if I don't know, <laughs> but you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your support and your prayers. I'm so excited. You guys got to see the babies. That was a surprise for me. I didn't know you were going to get to see them today. So you know how Kirsten and Colin are a little careful about that. So that's awesome. So you guys, thank you so much for your love, support and prayers. I will see you Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And if you missed any of this, you can watch it later. Um, it does, it does do whatever it does. And last day, last day, Lady J, yes, we do. Coming soon. Um, the last day to sign up for the kit club is today. Make sure you do that today. So thank you so much. I love you all. And I will see you Thursday. Bye-bye.